The objective for this background lesson is to understand how learning efficient and flexible strategies can help students be fluent in solving mathematics problems. Fluency is often mistakenly associated with the word fast or speed. But being fluent in mathematics is like being fluent in a language. Rather than being able to converse or compute quickly, fluency describes the accuracy, efficiency, and flexibility that is demonstrated. Students show computation fluency when they demonstrate flexibility in the computational methods they choose, understand and can explain these methods and produce accurate answers efficiently. It is important to note that the traditional standard algorithm for multiplication, also known as carries on top, is not included in this curriculum. Rather, students will use the partial products algorithm, the benefits of which far outweigh the few benefits of the traditional algorithm. To compare the two, the traditional standard algorithm would go something like this. 272 times 23. We start with 3 times 2 in the 1's place, which is 6, then move to 3 times 7, although it really is 3 times 70, not 7, and that's 21. So we write down the 1 in the 10's place and carry the 2 on top and place it over the 100's place. Next, we multiply 3 times 2, although it is really 3 times 200, that's 6, plus the 1 on top, which makes 8. As you can see, we have ignored or disregarded previous knowledge of place value and merely followed a step-by-step -step procedure. Now we're supposed to remember to put a 0 and then do the same thing, multiplying with the 2, which is really 20. 2 times 2 is 4. Then 2 times 7 is 14, so we put down the 4 and carry the 1 on top. And then 2 times 2, add the 1 on top, which is 5, and then add it together, going from right to left. And the answer is 6,256. Now let's compare the algorithm method with a couple of partial product methods. If we take our same problem but use an open array, we write 23 as 20 and 3 on one side, and we break up 272 to 200 plus 70 plus 2. Now we find the partial products for each area. 3 times 2 equals 6, 3 times 70 is 210, and 3 times 200 is 600. 20 times 2 equals 40, 20 times 70 equals 1,400, and 20 times 200 equals 4,000. We add all the partial products, 4,000 plus 1,400 plus 40 plus 600 plus 210 plus 6, and that equals 6,256. This technique keeps understanding of place value intact and makes more sense than carrying a digit. As we help students develop a recording scheme, there is little new for them to learn. They simply record the products and add them together, and now it makes no difference in which order the products are written. Now let's try a division problem. In division, the dividend represents the total, and the divisor and the quotient represent the factors. The divisor represents the number of groups or rows, and the quotient represents the size of each group or the number of columns. There are two models for division, partitive or fair sharing and quotative or measurement. Partitive models are those in which the number of groups is known, but the size of each group is unknown. The following word problem is an illustration of this model. There are 24 flowers to be divided into three vases. How many flowers will be in each vase? Quotative models are those in which the size of each group is known, but the number of groups is unknown. There are 24 flowers to be divided into vases with eight flowers in each vase. How many vases are needed? Students entering sixth grade should be familiar with using many strategies for dividing up to four-digit dividends by up to two-digit divisors. Open array models and the partial quotients algorithm were two such strategies. Students progress from the partial quotients algorithm to the long division algorithm, with the exception of the zeros being recorded in the partial products subtracted from the dividend. 
Traditionally, students worked with only one place value of the dividend at a time, but the benefits are many using recorded zeros when we working with long division. Students were introduced to decimals in fourth grade. In fifth grade, they were to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals to hundredths using models or drawings or strategies. Now in sixth grade, they culminate their understanding of decimal numbers using the standard algorithm for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of multi-digit decimals. A car needs an additional one and eight tenths quarts of oil. Three tenths of a quart can be added at a time. How many times will oil be added? We need to find how many groups of three tenths we can take out of one and eight tenths quarts of oil. If we build the model, it looks like six groups of three tenths oil are needed. A large can contains three tenths of the total capacity. There is one and eight tenths quarts of oil in the can. What is the total capacity of the oil can? In this question, we know that three tenths of the oil can is full, and that is one and eight tenths quarts of oil. To find the total capacity, we can draw a bar model. If this is three tenths and it's one and eight tenths quarts, then another three tenths would be one and eight tenths plus one and eight tenths. Another three tenths would be 1.8 plus 1.8 plus 1.8. And the last tenths represents six tenths quarts, so the total equals six. The total capacity of the oil can is six quarts. It is difficult for sixth grade students to think about a fractional number of groups when the divisor is a decimal number. Therefore, all contextual problems where the divisor is a decimal number will be those with a quotative model. An important component of this chapter is having students explain their answers and show their work or thinking. It requires students to look back through their work and determine if their thinking is correct. This is an important last step of the problem-solving process. The objective for this background lesson was to understand how learning efficient and flexible strategies can help students to be fluent in solving mathematics problems. We met this objective by solving division using partitive and quotative models.